TDR Conference 2016 Prophecies. How would Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam come up with this in the middle of the desert, 1437 years ago, if not for the fact that these are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And only now we very recently have established these facts, facts that the Quran spoke about so many years ago. Talk about the atom, Allahu Akbar. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about the atom? Allah states in the Noble Quran, Inna Allah la yadlimu mithqala dharra. Inna Allah la yadlimu mithqala dharra. Surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrongs not even to the weight of an atom. On the day of Qiyamah, injustice will not be served by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even to the weight of a tiny atom, okay? So we all know that an atom is a tiny, tiny thing. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not stop there. Allah azza wa jal highlights that on the day of Qiyamah, our deeds are going to be weighed upon an atomic scale. In the sense, we're going to be weighed by atoms so much that not even the tiniest, minute form of injustice will be served on that day because Allah Azza wa is the most just on the day of Qiyamah. But Allah does not end it there. Further on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ نَقِيرًا That they will not be served in justice even to the extent of naqira. Now naqira, it's interesting, can be translated as knocking. Knocking. Naqara means to knock. Naqira, they will not be served in justice. They will not be oppressed even to the extent of a knocking. Now you might wonder, what's this knocking and what does it mean? Just recently, if I'm not mistaken, uh, scholars state, scientists state that in the year 2000 or a little before 2000 or after 2000, that there are scientists who came to a conclusion that Within an atom, because you have particles that orbit, okay, within that you have a tiny molecule, a tiny particle inside the atom, okay, and this particular particle does not move around in orbit, but instead it moves up and down within a shell. It moves up and down, like a speck. It moves up and down, just like this. So it's almost as if it is knocking inside the atom. There, is, there are so many energy uh, particles. You have photons, you have protons, you have so many things within it. And these are things that orbit the, uh, the, the entire structure of the atom. But within the atom, maybe a hundred or thousand times smaller, you have something that knocks up and down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ نَقِيرًا They will not be oppressed even to the extent of a knocking, the knocking of this particular tiny particle within the atom. Allahu Akbar. Does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stop there? Further on in the same surah, Allah azza wa jal states, وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ فَتِيلًا وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ فَتِيلًا They will not be oppressed even to the extent of a fatila. Now what is a fatila? Fatila is, you can translate fatila as a thread, a tiny thread. Now logically we understand that we went from atom to naqira, which can be translated as a quark. That is the tiny particle within the orbit that moves up and down in a knocking fashion. And now we have fatila, thread. There are scientists and uh, people who are experts in this particular field who state that within a quark, you have threads of energy. Threads of energy. And they're like tiny threads that float around. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights in the Noble Quran as fatila. Fatila is translated as a thread. You can translate it as the thread that you find on date stones, on the seeds of dates. But this, when you look at it from a point of physics, you understand it more better. And think about it. 1437 years ago, they hadn't even spoke about the atom at that time, about the molecule at that time, about all of these factors. Allah azza wa jal revealed all of this unto Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.